going on you guys go zero fan 661 back with another video you know what this means box day let me get this open and i'll show you guys what i got be right back all right guys i'm back and this is what i got today finally the 1991 bandai mechanicon 8 inch series that was released in the 1992 bandai line the godzilla series which included biolanti minia Baragon and the uh, Mothra adult form. Uh, before I get to the video review, I would like to talk a little bit about the uh, Mechanic Kong's um, history and also his stats and how I got this figure. Well, this figure, it was my first purchase through uh, clawmarktoys.com. If you guys haven't checked them out, I highly recommend you guys go do that. It's a pretty good website and they sell a lot of uh, hard to find items for decent prices. Um, this figure was pretty hard to find. A lot of the times um, I, I couldn't find any sellers on eBay and the sellers that I did have that did have them or that do have them, um, they're in pretty bad shape or they're in um, from Japan. And uh, the only one that I could find that was on the United States is from a seller named Dadzilla. Some of you guys might have heard of him. I know he's been in the business for a, uh, a long time. Um, his his uh, Mechanic Kong had a lot of scratches, especially right here on the chest and in the back side of the figure. And he was asking for a little bit more than what I actually got this from in Clawmark. And this toy is... Um, Almost ne uh, it's near mint condition in my opinion. Um, very very little uh, paint scubs on this figure, if any. And uh, I got him from a for a decent price, one hundred and twenty five dollars with with its tag attached. I removed the tag. And you guys that have been following me for a while, I already know. You guys already know why. It's just to um, further protect the the tag so it doesn't get messed up when moving the figure. And stuff like that. Um, here's here is his tag. You can see it's in pretty good shape. No uh, major damages. It's, it's a little bent out of shape, but if I put it in a flat book and let it sit there for a week or two, it it should be fine. Uh, there it is. There, so you guys can see. All right. So mechanic Kong. It first appeared in the 1966 animated series called The King Kong Show um, and did its Toho debut in the following year in the um, the first and last appearance of him in uh, movie-wise. It's the King Kong Escapes movie, um, of course, from released from 1967. And here's the movie right here. If you guys haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. It's a very good movie, especially for its time. And um, again, if you have some of you kaiju fans that haven't checked out this film, I uh, highly recommend you guys check it out. Get yourself a copy. It's not that expensive. I was able to get this for about 10 bucks on eBay. Brand new. Um, that's that there. Alright, so Mechanic Kong, a little bit of history on him. Uh, he was uh, created by Doctor Who, who was trying to uh, mine Element X, which is a rare element that is used to create nuclear weapons. And he used this big bad boy to um, mine on the, um, the Arctic Pole. And um, he had uh, he had built it through um, through an alliance with uh, um, a female representative who was representing a certain country. Um, it doesn't really say throughout the movie what country, other than uh, her country. Um, I'm not really going to go too much into details because for some of you guys who haven't seen the film, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Uh, so again, 
Go check it out. King Kong Escapes. Good film. All right. Mechanicon stands at approximately 20 meters tall, and he weighs 10,000 metric tons, and he has um, four uh, major defense, or I want to say weapons, that he can use. The first one being um, up here, he has uh, a device there which he use, uses to try to hypnotize his opponents. Uh, he tried to use it in the um, in the film against King Kong, and another another good attribute that he has is here. If you look at his his eyes, they're like big um, light bulbs, and they do flash very very bright. They illuminate very 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 high highly, and they're it's mainly used to disorient blind um, his opponents momentarily, so he can get the um, the upper hand, and the third is, of course, his uh, gorilla-like strength, because, again, he is a, a robotic gorilla. And uh, the last weapon that he has, which I wish they would have included in the in this Bandai figure, but they didn't, is the grenade belt. You guys can see here in the tag, there's his grenade belt, and he used those grenades to, to throw in the um, Arctic Pole so he can... Dig, him, dig his way in so he can mine the uh, Element X. Um, he didn't really use the grenades as, as weapons against King Kong, but that would have been nice if Bandai would have you know, sculpted or added a, a belt with the figure. So that's, only, that's the only really big complaint that I have with this figure. Other than that, this figure is uh, amazing. Alright guys, and I think that covers pretty much uh, Mechanic Kong's history and stats. Um, moving on to the figure review. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. So this figure stands at approximately 7 and 1 quarter of an inch tall. And has 5 points of articulation. That being both of his legs, his arms, and his midsection, his torso. His head does not spin. All of these uh, spin 360 degrees. And I think Bandai did a really good job painting the figure. It's really, really a bright metallic silver with uh, light blue highlights being located in his uh, shoulder blades, his uh, arm fingertips there, his knees and his feet. And also a little bit here on the back here by his... Uh, Lower back or mid mid back, I want to say. And there's the hole, of course, where the the tag was attached. Overall, it's a it's a very good figure, and uh, I think Bandai did a really good job in sculpting it and and, and painting it. Uh, like I said, the only um, major flaw that it has is that it didn't come with the grenade belt. But other than that, the figure is, again, it's amazing. And I'm very happy and I'm very um, satisfied with this buy. And I know these uh, these figures uh, are highly, highly um, sought after and they're rare. Especially one um, as good as this, which doesn't have you know, hardly any... Paint scubs. I mean, I'm not going to go ahead and call it mint because I know it's not mint, but it's really, really near to that. It's very, very little scratches. It's 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 pretty, pretty good. It's been, I've seen a lot of the, the Mechanic Kong figures. Um, this particular model is that um, they always seem to be damaged here in the chest. They always seem to have like a lot of scratches here on the chest. I don't seem to understand why, and also here on the sides, they, they they seem to have a lot of a lot of scratches here, and uh, and the in the in the fingertips and stuff, especially here in the back. I've seen that a lot of them have a lot of scratches here on the back. And I guess because it's silver, it. it 
you can see it more than other figures. But that's what that's one thing that I wanted to note to you guys is that these figures are it's very rare to find one that's mint or near mint like this one because a lot of the times a lot a lot of the figures that I've seen on eBay and from other uh, websites they always seem to be damaged, especially in, around here on you know on the on the arms and here on the chest and the in the back. Um, I know that there's, um, you know, Raymundo, Raymundo made, uh, Raymundo toys. They made a couple of versions of Mechanic Kong. Um, they made the dark gray version, the bright, the bright, uh, silver, um, the silver with, with the light blue, like they did here on the Bandai. And they did them with, um, with the grenade or without grenade belt. And I know those figures, uh, they go for about $65 or so on eBay that I've seen. The only exception is that they're small. They're like five, five to five and a half inches tall. Um, and I know they're not licensed figures, but you know, if you guys don't want to shell out the cash, um, to get one of these or just can't get one of these, I, you know, I, I would, I would, uh, take my shot on one getting one of those. I've heard some good reviews on those figures. All right, guys. Um, so as I stated on my uh, previous videos, you know that this was the only figure that I was missing for my King Kong escapes. But now that I've I've I, I um, got it, now I can say that I um, own the whole King Kong escape set, including also the King Kong vs Godzilla. And no, I am not gonna add um, or mention that pathetic snake that he momentarily fights in the movie King Kong Escapes, because. He's not worthy. <laughs> All right, so let me bring out the the crew. So here is uh, Gurusaurus, and here is the Goji sixty two, big fatty Goji, and of course King Kong himself. Let me zoom out a little bit here. There you, there you have it, guys. The whole set of King Kong, King Kong's enemies, Toho wise. Not the American, just the the Toho. Some of you guys might say, "No, wait a minute, no." <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video. Please don't forget to like and uh, if subscribe and comment down below. And keep tuning in for more Godzilla videos to come. This is GojiroFan661. Signing out. I'll see you guys later.